the, the, the fix is on. They've done it. They've done it. They've stolen again, 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 again. They're serial uh, uh, vote thieves. And we've got the evidence. We've got the know-how. We've got the experts. We've got the mechanism of courts that understand the problem, and we're going after it. We're going to be filing a racketeering lawsuit. There you go. Under the Ohio rac racketeering law, it's the strongest in the country, and we can bring in every state. Our, our RICO statute is, is coextensive with the federal RICO statute, but it's much more aggressive in allowing us to go back in time, and it's much, a much stronger RICO statute. So they're nailed. Wow. Wow. So what I can say to you as a lawyer, I will represent to you as a lawyer, in my opinion, Hillary Clinton has been used for the purpose of scuttling Bernie Sanders' campaign for president. She's being used. And, and, but the, but the, they, they've been caught. It's obvious. It's just like Bernie Sanders when he talks about the system is rigged, uh, it, the elections are rigged, the evidence is clear, everybody's going to see it, and the game is over. The theory, the theory of injunctive relief is this. Every day that you or I cover up a crime is, is a crime. And, and uh, to, you know, we will seek an injunction against the continuing cover-up of this information, this data. And so, so yes, we're going to file for discovery uh, under the civil rules. We will file for discovery which has to be produced within 28 or 30 days, depending upon which court we're in. But we're also going to seek uh, injunctive relief, and we're going to argue that for the public to remain in the dark during this critical period, for example, when the, when the California, the biggest state in terms of votes, is voting, for them to be denied the knowledge of all this criminal activity that's been going on in every election up to this time, is, 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 is outrageous, and it's, it creates irreparable harm. The public has a need to know today that this is going on. We, anno we announced we were going to file such a lawsuit to compel the news media to report the actual exit poll results so that the public would know if there's apparent fraud. And guess what the media did? They canceled the exit poll. You're going to sue us to make us make it public? All right, well, you just won't do it. And that's why Lori and, and Bob are organizing a citizen exit poll. But we're also going to file a lawsuit. And the lawsuit is going to demand that all of the exit polls, 24 exit polls, showing the fraud, now be public, that, that be published. That they stop suppressing the evidence of crime. Yeah. But if you begin to look... Almost all of it is shifted, even in small amounts, towards Hillary. But you get down to some of these states here, you know, Texas, where there's a 4.2% difference. It's outside the margin of error. And the chances of that happen, you know, are, uh, you know, 3%. You go farther. What are the chances of the Arizona result? The, zero. The probability that that would occur in reality, is absolutely uh, zero. Once this lawsuit takes its course, the game, the, the cheating game is over. Mm -hmm. You know, we we will be doing some things on our own, but the we, the FBI and the Justice Department will be kept fully informed. And I expect, as the facts come out, as as uh, we, I believe, we have honest, uh, an honest uh, Justice Department an honest FBI, and there will be a prosecution of the people that are doing this. So it's, it's over. I don't think Bernie is going to be caught with the stripping of the voter rolls. I think they caught him unexpectedly early on. That's been done. They can't flip votes unless they first strip, in these battleground states, hundreds of thousands of voters. And Bernie's got enough people, as Obama did, to go out and re-register uh, the people and if the people are registered, Bernie wins. Because when they do, the most they've ever done with this is about flipping five points. You can't do massive amounts. 
and you can only get there to 3%, a 3% three, uh, uh, percentage point flip, or a 5 if you've stripped hundreds of thousands of voters. Bernie uh, has the apparatus to make sure that doesn't happen. <coughs> Good. The, the, here's the thing about lawsuits. Whether it's through the injunctive action or through the dis routine discovery. When I say routine, I mean we have a very liberal discovery process. The, the idea of the, of the court system, both state and federal, is to get the facts out. At each side is entitled to the evidence. And we're going to have aggressive discovery. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be uh, under seal. It's going to be public. So the facts are going to be out. And, and, the, and the, key, the key to this is not the, you know, what, what, are we, what is at the end of the rainbow? You know, what, what are the damages? What do we, what do we want? That's not, that's not what is important here. What's important here is getting the truth out. Now.